In today's edition of Ask a Pro, we're going to answer what to do when you can't complete your workout. You're out there, your coach says, do 400 watts for 10 minutes, three times, and like halfway through the second one, your legs are falling apart, your heart rate's not responding. What do you do? Do you tell your legs to shut up? Do you bang your head against the wall? Do you take an Uber home? Is it worth it to do a workout that's like not exactly what was prescribed, but close enough? Does giving up on a workout mean that you're soft and wimpy and not a man and you should quit? Or are you being smart because the right thing to do is to listen to your body? My coach Frank Overton kindly offered to help out for this video. So in exchange, he's gonna be the sponsor for this episode. I've been working with Frank since the pro days now, going on 10 years. The last couple years, he's been working on developing the Fast Cat coaching app. If you're like me, you always wanna ride harder, better, faster, stronger, but you have less and less time to do that. Fast Cat is a coaching app that makes every minute count. Coach Cat is AI powered coaching that turns your data into dialogue so you get instant feedback after or even during a ride. There's all kinds of training plan options and they have a custom plan builder that creates training programs around your goals and schedule to keep training fast, flexible, and fun. Miss a workout? No problem because Coach Cat will help you with a revision. I've known Frank for a long time. He's been a huge help to my career pre and post retirement. He's a coach, a training partner, a scientist, a therapist, and all of his knowledge and experience is put into this app to train smarter, ride faster, Faster, recover better and take on your goals the first month is free I'll put a link below hey Phil coach coach thank God you answered yeah this is an emergency I you gave me three intervals today are you trying to kill me I'm like halfway through the second one I fell apart what do I do do I do I just do the rest of the ride and skip the interval do I call an uber what save me coach save me <laughs> Um, okay, I, I would just say like, don't worry about the intervals, but do finish the three hour ride. You know, you can like zone two, maybe a little, little tempo, but it sounds like you're just, uh, you're done with intervals for today. If you're super destroyed, you know, just head home and make sure you get like a good recovery meal or, uh, you know, good night's sleep. And then we can try this again tomorrow. It's raining. I am. That's, that's my Uber coming up here. Yeah. Yep, right here, right here. Yeah, yeah, sorry, one more thing. So this week I've got my mother-in-law visiting, I've got work one day, how do I, how do I move around my workouts? Like, do I have to cancel some of them? Uh, is it okay to just like switch days? Uh, what do you think I should do? All right, so let's use today as a rest day and let's move your threshold intervals to tomorrow and then you can move your sweet spot intervals to Thursday. Still take a rest day Friday. I mean, you're still on track to do your 20 hours this week. You can make up like one hour downstream tomorrow or, or over the weekend. Okay, okay, thank you, coach. Bye, Phil. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Whew. So of course, ideally, you nail every workout, but in the real world, it doesn't always go that way. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you suck or that your coach sucks. I remember Frank gave me a workout like the first six months we were working together. I was supposed to do like Mount Baldy three times at like 370 watts or something. And I made it like halfway through the third interval and then I fell apart. I remember talking to him later and thinking like, why would he think I can do this? And his point was, that's how you push your limits. If you don't fail a workout once in a while, that kind of just means you're not training hard enough. Because ultimately, what's a race other than a failed workout, unless you win? So I went out recently and I was supposed to do intervals and kind of early in the ride, I told my training buddy, I was like, ah, you know what? I'm not gonna do them today. They're not in me right now. And he was like, oh, I didn't know you were you were kind of a queer like that. I kind of thought you would push through. And it's not about pushing through, it's about obeying yourself. And if I don't feel recovered, if I'm not fresh, I'm not gonna dig myself into a deeper hole by trying to do workouts that aren't productive. My workout is 10 minutes hard, five minutes easy, repeat 10 minutes and you get that right. Or there's the line of, I'm gonna give myself an extra couple minutes between these last two intervals just to make sure I can really hit those numbers. Or maybe you have three sets of intervals and just stop and get a coffee before the last one. Then there's a the line of, I'm just gonna throw in the towel on intensity today, uh, get my hours in and try to work out my intervals tomorrow. So over the course of the whole week or the training block, I'll get my intervals in one way or another, I'll get my total volume in and that'll be good enough. And figuring out like just what I can do, if I can nail the intervals that day or if I can come close enough, it's just something I've come to with many years of experience, many panicked calls to my coach. And it's cool this is all something that can automatically done in Coach Frank's app now. You've got AI to adjust your workouts or move your week around so you don't have to harass your coach for little tweaks like that. Thanks for watching. I've got more questions from my Ask a Pro book. Feel free to leave your own in the comments. See you next time.